What's up YouTube? Have you ever wondered how to use cinematic mode on your iPhone? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back, my name is Ben Nielsen. I'm a media design educator and today we're talking about how to use cinematic mode on your iPhone. This is one of the best features of shooting video on your iPhone is the ability to use cinematic mode. You know, we had portrait mode for a long time on photos, which was really nice to get that blurry background. But since they introduced cinematic mode, we've been able to get something similar when shooting video, which really ups the professional level and feel. So we're going to go into the iPhone and we're going to look at how to use it. Now, before we do that, I just want to say that this video is a segment from my full course intro to iPhone videography. So if you really want to learn the ins and outs of using your iPhone for videography, go ahead and check out the link to that course in the description and stay tuned to the end of the video for a promo code. Okay, so now we wanna talk about cinematic mode. Cinematic mode is what happens when you swipe up if you're holding it horizontal or swipe over to the right when you're holding it vertical. So let's go to cinematic mode and we're going to go ahead and show you how this works. Cinematic mode basically works a lot like portrait mode when you're doing photography. It's going to blur out the background. So you can see here that it's focusing on her face and it's blurring out the background. Now you can change focus. Say I want to focus on this swing set over here. I could tap over there and it's going to change focus there and then she's going to go out of focus. So this really makes your shots look more like a movie, more like they would do on a movie set because it gives you that nice shallow depth of field. Now you'll notice you only have two lenses here. You have the 1x, which is normal, and the 3x, which is super, super close. So then we can really see her up close. But let's go back to 1x, okay? and let's focus in on her face. Now, when you tap to change focus, that's called pulling focus, and it really makes your shots look professional. So you can see I can pull focus to these trees, and then I can pull it back to her, and I can do that while filming. So let's go ahead and see how this works. We're going to go ahead and press record, and if we wanted to show her, we could just do a nice pan around her here, and then if we wanted to pull focus to this tree, we could do that. Focus over here, and then we can pull focus back to her face. So you can get some really nice shots using this cinematic mode to focus in on your subject and kind of blur out the background. Another thing to note here is if we switch this to 4K, we can then change this to 24 frames per second. 24 frames per second is what's used on a lot of major motion pictures, so it's really nice to have that option if you're working on a short film with your iPhone or something like that. You'll also notice this F option. This is the F stop. This is how much background blur you're going to get. So if we go look at her here and we move this up, the background is going to come more into focus as we raise our F stop up. So you can see the background's more in focus, whereas if we go all the way down to two, it's very out of focus. And that's basically what cinematic mode is for here. You're going to be able to get those nice shots with that blurry background, and it's a really nice feature. It really ups the professionalism of your video shot on iPhone. You will notice that there are some features that are not available, like you can't shoot action mode here. That's because cinematic mode already requires a lot of light to make it work. So there just isn't enough light for it to do cinematic mode and action mode at the same time. So in that case, you're going to have to choose which one you're going to use. And making films is all about making choices. Okay, that's it for cinematic mode. You will need to take a shot with cinematic mode for your project, so make sure that you get comfortable with it. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to slow motion. Okay, I hope you enjoyed learning about using cinematic mode here on your iPhone. Again, this video is part of my full course, Intro to iPhone Videography, which you can take either on Skillshare or on Gumroad. If you choose to purchase it on Gumroad, you can use the code YT15 to get it for just $15. I can't wait to see what you're able to make using your iPhone. We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.